I'm Emma Norton, and today I'm going to be showing you my 10-minute beauty routine. So my first step in my routine is always to moisturize the skin to create a flawless base. So the specific product that I use is Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. You need two of these drops all over the face and you're set. And what this does is it hydrates your skin all over because I have pretty dry skin for the most part. So if I don't create that glowy finish, it kind of ruins the base. For the next part, I usually will go straight into my foundation. What I use is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I love this foundation so much. It's very buildable. And sometimes I add in a little bit of the glow recipe in with that, just in case I kind of overdo it. So I take that with my beauty blender and then I just dab that into my skin lightly. With the glow recipe as well, it kind of makes it a bit lighter on the skin so it doesn't feel like you have like five pounds of makeup on your face. Lately, I've been using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's very full coverage and it's still pretty light on my face, so I'm just gonna go in with that under my eyes and various brightening areas to lift my face. And then I'm just gonna go in also over my eyelids so that I can kind of prep for liner or eyeshadow, whatever I decide to do, because typically I do end up wearing graphic liner. So I'm just gonna go in with the Bright Matte 42 color palette. This has clearly been through a lot. Um, it's very messy and that's why I use it so much. Uh, it definitely, see even the mirror is gone in there. And then with a brush, I'm going to go in with some white underneath my eyes in the areas that I just brightened and then go in with some contour. So I'm almost see-through practically. So adding that white is not too aggressive for my skin tone, but otherwise I'd probably recommend someone use something more skin toned. We're gonna go in with some eyeshadow for contour. And I actually use a lot of gray as well because I'm so fair. Um, I go in with a brown and a gray shadow at the same time and I kind of combine those and dust that off. And it always looks a bit harsh at first, but that's something that we blend out as we go. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit to my forehead, but not too much just because that's kind of an area that I don't focus on quite as much. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit under my chin as well to kind of chisel out my jawline. And typically, if I wasn't wearing a choker, I actually would put a little bit right here too um, because it kind of creates an illusion of like a slimmer neck. This is a very trust the process kind of makeup tutorial. And I used to never use blush, but I've realized that it makes me look a little bit more like I'm alive. This blush is Essence, the blush. This is a really affordable product, um, but I've used this for a really long time and I really like it. It's important to remember that makeup is not always about how much it costs, it's about the product itself. And I usually will add a little bit of blush above my eyebrow line as well, kind of to the side here, just because I think that it almost looks a little bit more editorial when I do that. Um, that's just a stylistic choice. Now we're gonna go in for nose contour. This is one of my favorite parts of my beauty routine. I just take a very thin brush and I will dip it in water and I'll go in with eyeshadow. Again, I don't use cream just because it keeps everything the same color. Um, so then I go in with a brown and a gray and I kind of combine that on my hand as a palette. And so with the water, it kind of helps those two shades combine more. And I actually like how liquidy it is because I think that that applies better on the face and it's easier to blend out. So I kind of go in with a square kind of rectangular shape on my face. And then I kind of create a long triangle up my face going to the bridge of my eyebrows. And now we're just gonna go back in and blend it out with my beauty blender. I also kind of use my fingers a little bit too just because the beauty blender tends to be a little bit too large to just blend it out on its own. So then we're just gonna go back in and I usually will use the same as my foundation or I sometimes even use white cream paint and I actually use my <laughs> kind of scary acrylic nails for this. Uh, people ask me how I do my makeup with this but it actually makes usually things a lot easier. Then I usually will take a little bit of that same foundation and put it on the sides of my nose so that I can kind of get rid of the extra brown that's on the sides. Um, I actually go in with Ben Nye uh, Cream White Makeup, which usually this is what I use for my con makeup and Halloween makeup, but I just use a little dab of it on my fingernail and just pop that on the center of my nose to create 
the illusion of a smaller nose tip. It's a very small amount, but it really does the job. Then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty setting powder. I believe this is by Selena Gomez. So we're just gonna go in with that powder and combine that with the white shadow. So now we're gonna go in and do my brows. And again, we're gonna just use that same palette as we were before, except I'm gonna go in a little bit darker. And I usually use a very fine tip brush too, just because I wanna create the illusion of actual hair strokes, at least a little bit. And I'm just gonna follow my natural arch and then bring it out a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna go in with a brow mascara to kind of create a thicker appearance for them. And this here is the Thick It, Stick It Brow Thickening Mascara by NYX Cosmetics. Usually for my everyday look, I tend to go in with a pretty bold cat eye and I'll do whatever can kind of elongate and enlarge in my eyes. For the liner that I'm using, I am using the Maybelline Masterpiece by iStudio in just the shade black. Then I'm just gonna go across my lid with a pretty thin line to start and then just begin to bring that up. I kind of try to connect it to where the end of my brow is so that that way it looks more uniform across my face. Then I usually will create an inner corner line connecting outward uh, so that we create that cat eye illusion. And I'm actually gonna add in a little bit of a bat eye. What I'm just gonna do there is exactly extend from the end of that line inwardly. It always kind of makes me feel like I'm the main character villain when I have graphic liner on, which is definitely something that I like. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Revlon So Fierce Mascara. I really like this mascara because the thick wand holds a lot of product in it and my lashes have been through a lot with the amount of lash glue that I put on them. And I also tend to twist the wand as I apply it because it kind of gets rid of the clumpiness. The goal of raising my lashes is to make sure that they blend in with the fake ones that I put on. And then I'm just gonna go in with some Ardell lashes. These are great for an everyday lash and you can get them really at any drugstore. For the lashes, I'm gonna pop some Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive on there. And I just apply a pretty thin strip of glue on there and let that dry for about 30 seconds to a minute. And while I'll let that dry, I usually will pop a little bit of lash glue underneath my eye. And I'm later just gonna go in with some rhinestones right there, um, just because that is always a fun way to add some sparkle to my look. Since it's been about 30 seconds, we're just gonna pop this right one on. So usually with my lashes, I tend to actually put the very end of the lash a little bit higher than the rest of it, just because it again will kind of expand my eyes and give a big doe eye look. I'm actually gonna go in with some rhinestones that match my nails. Um, I have kind of some multicolor gemstones on my nails, so we're gonna go in with the same ones. And I just got these off of Amazon. And then I usually just apply this with either the end of a brush or with my finger. So for lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Epic Smoke Liner. This is actually made for your eyes, but it's pretty multi-purpose. For this one, I'm just gonna go and overline my lips a little bit over my Cupid's bow. And then I'm just gonna extend down a little bit and bring it back to my natural lip line. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX This Is Juice Gloss, and this is actually infused with electrolytes. And as you can see, now those lines are completely blended and it just allows everything to blend together better. And then we're just gonna dust off that product that we put there before. And then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender again and just tap that in a little bit more. I'm just gonna go in with the Pore Professional Super Setting Spray and I'll put this all over my face before I apply it to my brush, but wetting the brush allows it to absorb the product a little bit better. And then after I've gotten my brush all wet, I'm gonna go in with the RCLO. This really looks like I use this all the time because I do, I use it every day. Um, and I'm go, going in with this gold highlighter. It's almost opal, so it's a very light gold. And I'm just gonna pack that in right there. There's really no limits to where you put the glitter, basically. And then for the final touch, the very last thing, I'm just gonna go in with a couple fake freckles with the same eyeshadow palette as I use for everything else. And there's really no rhyme or reason to how I apply the freckles. It's pretty just organized chaos. 
And then for the very final step, we're gonna go in again with the Professional Setting Spray, Professional, and this is by Benefit, and pop that all over my face. This has been my 10 minute makeup routine. Thank you so much, Allure. Uh, this is a bit of a everyday, kind of darker doll-like makeup look, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching.